Hey, so I just filled my truck up with gas and I paid about 120 bucks. Ouch, right? Let me know in the comments how much you're paying for gas these days, but just like our automobiles need fuel, to keep going, our eyes need specific types of essential nutrients that we get from our diet in order to have proper eye health and function. For example, our retinas need molecules called carotenoids, which we get from foods that we'll be going over later in the video, and even some good eye vitamins like Occuvite, Preservision, MacuHealth. I'll have a link in the description for my favorite brand of eye vitamins if you have a family history of macular degeneration and you just want to be proactive and start taking a good eye vitamin. I'm Dr. Smith, practicing optometrist in the state of Utah, and here are my top five foods that are best for eye health and function. The first one is leafy green vegetables like spinach and kale because of their high amounts of pigments called carotenoids. Carotenoids are antioxidants found in the layers of the inside back wall of the eye that not only aid in light and dark adaptation, but also neutralize free radicals and have been shown in studies to reduce the chances of conditions like macular degeneration. Macular degeneration can leave us blind centrally later in life. Lutein and zeaxanthin are two types of carotenoids that are found in leafy green vegetables. So next time you're in the produce section, you have a chance to grab a bag of lettuce or a head of lettuce of some sort, and you have a chance to go iceberg versus romaine, I'd go with the romaine. Go with the darker colored green. If you have a chance to go romaine or spinach, get a mix of the two or spinach. Spinach has even higher amounts of carotenoids than romaine lettuce. The second one is foods with omega-3 fatty acids like wild salmon, mackerel, walnuts, flaxseed oil, krill oil. It's all too common for people, especially those who follow a Western diet, to get way more omega-6s from their diet than omega-3s. This imbalance in omega-3s leaves us more susceptible to inflammatory health conditions in the body. In the eyes, these are conditions like dry eye disease and macular degeneration. One thing to keep in mind about omega-3s is that there are a couple different types. For example, there's a plant-based omega-3, like the kind found in flaxseed oil and walnuts, also called ALA or alpha linolenic acid, and the marine-based omega-3s, also called EPA and DHA. The foods with the marine-based omega-3s, like EPA and DHA, are the best types to treat and prevent unwanted eye conditions like those we just mentioned. I advise many patients, especially those suffering from dry eye disease, to start taking fish oil due to its high marine-based omega-3 content. My current favorite brand of fish oil supplement is called TG Omega due to its purification process and higher concentration of EPA and DHA compared to other ingredients compared to other brands. I'll leave a link below where you can find some TG Omega. Take a second and smash the like button if you're liking the content. Food number three is orange colored fruits like oranges and apricots due to their high concentration of vitamin C. Vitamin C is not only good for the body, but it's been found to be very good for the crystalline lens that sits right behind the iris in our eye, right behind the pupil. And it's also good for the fluid found in our eyes called the aqueous humor. Vitamin C may even slow down the progression of cataracts that cloud up our lenses inside our eye and make it difficult for us to see at night later in life until the cataracts are finally removed surgically and replaced with a prescription lens implant. The fourth food that's good for the eyes is sweet potatoes and other similarly colored foods that have beta carotene in them that ends up converting to vitamin A as it crosses the intestinal wall. Carrots have beta carotene as well, but in smaller amounts compared to sweet potatoes. Vitamin A is so important for proper eye health and function, and without it, the appearance of even the surface of the eye may start to show changes. Vitamin A combines with a large protein found in the eye called opsin to form rhodopsin. Rhodopsin plays a primary role in helping us see better in low light conditions. There's more about carrots in a video that I previously made all about if carrots actually improve our eyesight. If you haven't watched that, you'll definitely want to check that out by following this link. That brings us to the fifth type of food that's good for the eyes, and that's foods that are rich in zinc, like poultry, fish, and red meat. Zinc happens to play a huge role in sustaining good vision, but it's also essential for wound healing, blood clotting, and immune function. Vitamin E also plays a huge role in eye health and can be found in foods like beans. I always like to throw out a bonus tip, so my bonus tip today is a couple of different foods that you can actually consume and have an immediate and noticeable effect in the eyes. One is tonic water because it contains quinine. Quinine has been shown in some individuals to provide relief for that annoying eye twitch, also known as eyelid myokymia, that's caused by stress, lack of sleep, and caffeine. If you suffer from eyelids that twitch, this might be something that you want to try if you're getting plenty of rest, not down in too many coffees, and haven't been too stressed out lately. Another one is pineapple due to its high concentration of a protein digesting enzyme called bromelain. 
In a recent study, pineapple was found to reduce eye floaters. I'll leave a link in the description to the video I made all about pineapples, summarizing that study that found that it reduces floaters. Links to any of the products that I discussed in the video will be in the show notes in the description below, and I'll see you in the next video.